Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 18 of um, Rustic Waters 2. And um, didn't do much between episodes, but I did a thing. Come and have a look. I'm very proud of myself. I now have a semi-automated setup to grind um, uh, ores, um, wash them into nuggets, and then stamp them into ingots. So this is not my design. I didn't come up with this overnight. <laughs> I mean, much as I would love to say, yeah, it just came to me in a dream. Not really. No, this design, um, I don't know how I found, I, actually, I think it was recommended to me on my, um, my YouTube page on my homepage, which is really bizarre. I guess because I've been looking for create stuff. It's been showing me create stuff. And this is a design by Rocket. That's Rocket with an IT, not ET. And it's very easy, very simple. It's fairly compact. And the grind wheels go on a side, which I didn't know you could do that. I mean, he did his with water wheels. Obviously, we don't need a water wheel. I probably could have moved it across. Now that I've set it all up, I could move it across some, but that's fine. But basically what it is, let's see if I can say, it. you've got your chest, you've got an andesite funnel, and that just pushes everything onto the conveyor belt. You've got two vertical gearboxes, which are running your crushing wheels. Um, you have a chest on this side um, with a brass funnel. The funnel has a filter to filter out the cobblestone because when you um, crush uh, iron or I think it is, you have a chance to get cobble. So that comes out. All right. Then on this side, let's go around. I can't remember if the crushing wheels can kill you or not. So I'm not going to try and cr walk in front of the crushing wheels. On this side, you have another funnel and... No, sorry. This side, you have a funnel and that has a filter on it and the filter denies all the, all the, um, all the crushed ore. So if I had, for example, lapis or diamonds or anything else that would get caught there and they would go into this chest. Okay. So I'm not sure how we got sandstone in there because that must've been when I that's from me, I think. I don't know. Because that's the tile off the floor. And I did put in a hole here to um allow this to go back in the system. So it's probably from that. So anything that is not crushed ore will go into this chest. Then we get to here. We have an ore washing setup, which is the same as the one over there. And it will convert the ores into nuggets. Then once they're nuggets, we have a filter with an allow on it this time, and it's allowing all the nuggets and um, it pushes it into the basin. Then we have a mechanical press and the mechanical press will stamp it into ingots. Once there's enough nuggets to turn it into an ingot, then it goes into here. And then um, it was collecting in the chest but then I've hooked it up to the system. So now it just goes straight into the system, which is awesome. So, um, so yeah, so it's not totally automated, but you know, I just go drop the ores in here because I did go mining, um, between episodes. I didn't realize there were two different types of lead. So these nuggets weren't caught, weren't, um, allowed the first time around. So I had to take out the filter, add that in and then, I was trying to add them to the conveyor belt, but it wouldn't take it because there was already stuff on the conveyor belt. So I just dropped it back in here to see if it would go through the system again. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. And like I said, it was very easy to set up. I did set up another water wheel. These cats love this machine. They're either sitting on top of the water wheels or out there, not the water wheel, the crushing wheel or out there or on this. I, I don't know. 
anyway, but yeah, it was very simple. This or this is obviously the same as over there, but it was easier just to set up a new uh, windmill and give this, you know, give the system its own setup. So there's that. So, I mean, really and truly, I don't need this anymore. I could take this down. I might do at some point. I don't know. I might just leave it. It's not doing anything. To be honest, I could just, I could take it down and extend this out and then join this to over here, you know, in the future. But, you know, that's, like I said, that's in the future. I might never need to do it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. It took me about, how long did it take me? Not very long because I did have it further along and then I realized I'd have to pull it back two slots so that it would fit properly. So one, so the first time I did it, it took me about half an hour. The second time it took me 15 minutes. So it wasn't, you know, it didn't take very long. It's very simple and it's efficient. I mean, probably if I add more sails to the windmill, it will go faster. But other than that, um, you know, I like it. It's quite easy. I understood it. Um, yeah, I like it. So today, what are we doing? We are making, um, we're making more weapons. I did go back into the nether and I found, let's see, um, can I, right, if I go, if I click on the globe, it will show me the other worlds I've been in and all the stuff. So, uh, that's the fortress. That's where we came in and I made a it's basically a straight line so I made a tunnel all the way across into the fortress which was um not too bad I mean there were a couple of times where it's like okay I need to hide now but you know I managed to do it why is it showing me there I'm not I think that's where I am in the overworld or Actually, that could be where I am in relation to. Could be. I don't know. I really don't know. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so I made a straight line. You can see that on the map. It's a covered tunnel, goes all the way to the fortress. I did get a blaze, um, a blaze spawner. It's in, I have a sack of holding somewhere and it's in that. So that works as intended. Hello, you three. Yes, I'm talking to you. Hello. Um, yeah, so I did that, but we're going to make more weapons because we need to go to the end. So at least we, you know, we go there and have that sorted. We're not going to fight the dragon. <laughs> we are in no shape or form to fight the dragon, but um, we need to do the end. I mean, there's a dungeon. I forgot there's a dungeon literally right outside. Uh, let's see. Oasis. I think it's on this side. Yes, so that's the um that's the the the, the nether portal and there is a dungeon literally right outside here. I don't know if we can see it. I think that's it there. You can just about see what looks like a like a tent. That's a dun that's one of the ice dungeons. It's one of the easy ones. So I want to go and do that. I know I'm going to get killed <laughs> probably loads of times, but you know, it's a goal. So that's why we're going to do weapons today. So, um, so like I said, last episode, we went to the nether and I went to the nether because I needed quartz because, um, one of the things that we need is the powered diamond anvil. And, oh, you know what? We need a brewing stand. Yes. 
that means we need to go and kill some blaze. Hmm. Okay. Right. So I might get killed quicker, faster than I anticipated. But anyway, right. I need the um. I need the quartz. So I did mine. I did mine some quartz. Um, powered anvil is. Isn't it a regular anvil and diamonds and the quartz, right? Powered anvil, regular, okay, yeah. Do we have any anvils left? I do have one more. And I need diamonds. Um, clear that, and I want, oh, it's not there. Okay, anvil, three quartz, and three diamond. And that gives me a powered anvil. Okay, and we get a tank of lava, nice. And now we need a Bruin stand, and a Bruin stand, blaze rod. Flame lily. How do you get a flame lily? No, you're not going to show me. Ah, uh, flame lily seeds, flame lily. It shows me I can get them, but it doesn't show me where I can get them from. Okay. All right. So we need, well, it probably was a good thing. Let's see, where is... Here's our spawner. Okay, I guess we're going to go put it up on the island. I'm going to have to build something around it. And then kill some... All right, what are we going to make it out? Oh, we can make it out of calf stone because I have so much calf stone. It's not even funny. Okay, um, I just discovered I wasn't recording. Um, I checked my logs. I've got 12 minutes of what I started with. So I'm assuming you have no idea what's going on. I mean, if it's 12 minutes, you got the explanation about the um, my little create thing, which is fine. If it isn't, then I will point it out. But um, when I go back downstairs, but basically what I am doing, that needs to, basically what I'm doing, um, I got a blaze spawner in the nether and I'm killing blazes. They've all despawned though, which is good. I put the blaze, but I put the blaze spawner in here. I did manage to kill one. But because it's line of sight right here, they can see me. And it's not fun. Yeah, I knew he was going to go up. And that has reach, but it's not doing what I want it to do. Yeah, reach isn't helping. Yep, definitely not helping. But anyhow, I got what I wanted, which was blaze rods. But I just came back out to see if... Um... There's got to be some way... There's got to be some way that I can kill them. And they can't kill me. Yeah, 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 we know. Because this is not landing any shots. But anyway, um, that's for another time. Let's actually, let's just get this blaze spawner. 
that's the sack of holding I just used to um to get it. No, it's just not reaching. Okay. All right, never mind. They'll despawn. It's fine. And um, I've got my land bridge. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. So, um, so yeah, at some point I will pretty it up. But right now it's just this. Right, so, um, we want a, um, a burner. Uh, thing. Brewing stand. So we just need cobble and the blaze rod. We got the blaze rod. And we've got the cobble. I didn't know blaze, blaze, blaze. I didn't know brewing stands were that easy to make. To be honest, I've never actually made a vanilla brewing stand. Usually, I will just you know nick one from somewhere. <laughs> but there you go. You learn something new every day. Um, right, and we get glass bottles, alchemical quiver. Now you can make potions, it's time to put them to, a to additional use. The alchem alchemical quiver will allow you to coat your arrows in poison effects, damaging or otherwise. Okay. Cured rubber. Okay, how do you get cured rubber? Rubber. Induction smelter. Rose, rosin? How do you get rosin? Fractionating still. Okay, we can't do that right now. We can't do that because that's all. Okay. Is that the only way to get cured? Is that the only way to get rubber? Multi servo press. A block of rubber. Or the induction smelter and you get rosin from where'd you get resin resin from trees and an arboreal extractor okay well i guess that's something we'll have to do we can't do much on that side so what about this side then Okay, the immersive engineering weapons in this adventure have been buffed substantially to meet the demands of an increasing hostile planet. Um, they're definitely worth investing resources into, especially if you're not much for Ars, magic, Ars Nouveau magic combat. I don't really want to make any guns. I mean, they don't hold any... As far as I can see, this is... Um, this isn't essential. I don't particularly feel comfortable making guns in the game. Uh, I can make the Fluxo Magnet because magnets are good. But I don't really want to make... I'm not going to be making any guns. Okay, so we will get to this point some at some point. I guess we're going to get into um, Ars Nouveau then. Hmm. I put a spoke in the wheel. Or we could train up our dog. Okay. Oh, they want the arboreal and phyto grow whistle command. I want to put a whole episode with this. I'm not going to do that. But we need we do need fight mycelium. All right. I want a whole episode to devote to the dog our doggos so we're not doing that but we can finish this bit okay right let's do this all right we want the fermenters now how they had they see engineer the t 
table. They had the engineer's crafting table and they had two fermenters next to them. All right, should we, let's leave this downstairs. So they had fermenter here, fermenter here, and can we see recipes? Okay, no. Reactive, don't know what reactive is, but how ferments tasty beverages, wort. How do you make wort? Okay, so coral wort. So to make that, we need three bubble coral block, water, glass bubble, and barley. All right, we can do that. Uh, we need a bucket of water and coral. Three, a glass bottle, and four. Oh, we had some. And how much, how much water are we, we, we just want one. Okay, so we've got a blaze burner. I'm assuming it's not going to burn your base down because it's contained. Okay. Oh, don't we need, um, we need combustible stuff. I think you can, you give it, you give it coal. I believe, I don't know. I don't know where I got that from. I could be totally wrong. Okay, so four barley, three of those, and a glass bottle. So if I give you a piece of coal, and are you not not hot enough? You weren't hot enough. No, lava. That's where the... It was... No. Um, water. It was water we needed. I knew we were missing something. So what, do we put the bucket of water in there? Not doing anything. Alright, um... Ah, I see. Um, glass, bottle, there you go. We have wart. Unfermented wart. I don't know what wart is to be on. Is that a real? I guess it is a real thing because you have St. John's wart. Why did I go? But why am I going? Get a 10 coin. Brown wart is poop. Okay. Do we have a tank? Tank, do we have an empty tank that has water? That's fine. All right, let's collect some water. I do love the mechanism tanks just for the whole bucket mode thing. I think that's awesome. Right, now that's full. Um Right, we have barley, right? What do we need? We need a fish turd for that one. We need three. And... Honeycomb. Okay, we don't have honeycomb. But we can make this other stuff. So we need three fish turds. We have three? Yes. So we can make those two, make the drinks. And then, oh, funny you can find in some of those oases, but we'll have to find, I've seen bees. All right, water, um, and the barley and the fish poop. What am I missing? Oh, it's only four. Okay. Oh, are you... Oh, right. You're only putting in a certain amount. Great. Uh, pickaxe. 
offhand. All right, so the bucket mode is only putting in 400 millibuckets. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, all right, so how are we gonna? All right, how? Oh, maybe if I right click it with the bottle? No? All right, that's not really gonna help. Put the water back in. Can I take out the 400? No. All right, I'm guessing I'm going to have to break it then. Did I get the barley? Yes. So all we have is water. All right, let's go. Where is my pickaxe? And now there's nothing in it, yeah? Good. There you go. All right, so three turds. <laughs> I've just realized the fish turd is floating on top of the water. That is the most, that is the funniest and the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Well, maybe not the most disgusting. I mean, I've got kids, so maybe not the most disgusting. <laughs> but that is up there with one of the most disgusting. All right, now we've got our brown wart. All right, let's take our bucket of water and let's see what we can do with these things. Okay, so Coral's Light gives you night vision, water breathing, and swim speed. Oh, really? So we're not, we're not fermenting it? We can't make it? All right, maybe not Coral, but let's put Light. You can't make it. Coral Wart. I wonder, so if I put that in there... But what else do you need? How does the fermenter work? Okay, that's from which mod? Tipsy. Okay, so you've got that. Yeast. Fermenter. Ferments tasty beverages. But how do you... Can you not actually... If you put yeast in it? Because I don't understand why the fermenter is a thing if we can't actually use it. Oh, do you need lots of yeast? Or just does it just take time? Because if you're making alcohol in real life, because my dad used to make wine, and it takes a long time, so maybe it just... Yeah, it's gone up. Can I use time on a bottle on this thing? No. Can't use time on a bottle. All right, but it's doing it's doing a thing. Okay. Um Is there anything else I can do in between times while we are waiting? I don't think there is. All right, let's take half of you out then. And let's put you in the other one and the yeast. So there's the two of you going. Um, well, the weaponry didn't, that's not going how I thought it would be going. That's what Spartan, right? Um, we can make daggers, long sword, two handed. It's too oh, okay. So you can't use anything in your offhand. So you've got daggers, you've got long swords, but the attack damage is quite high. A diamond long sword. Um. Oh, netherite. We don't have netherite, though. Oh, can I put the netherite in the, cru the the ancient debris in the crusher? It suddenly occurred to me. Ancient. Okay. Uh, no, that one. Combiner. Now that's making it. I want to... Doesn't look like it. That's how you get it. Uses for it. You can make a reinforced drum. 
you smelt it to make scrap. You can put it in um, the mechanism crusher to get, yeah. Energized smelter gives you one. Enrichment chamber gives you two. Blasting gives you one. And bulk blasting gives you one. So, enrichment chamber, can I make that? Mm. Have to make the metallurgic infuser. I could make that. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be using the netherite right now, but it just occurred to me while we were looking at Spartan stuff. Ah, uh, Spartan. All right. That is getting on my nerves. Because that's kind of big. A rapier. Has only got 4.4 attack damage, though. So, rape sabers. Has 7... A ten, a steel saber. Okay. A silver saber. Invar Kiss of Arias. Out Okay, I'm guessing that's some um, special. Lead wooden Okay. So the Best saber to get is Envar. You need a handle and three Envar. Okay, that sounds like fun. Okay, why am I not being fed? This has the feeding module. Oh, we should check on this as well. Ah, we got Coral's Light. Okay. Let's go in. I didn't drink it. Oh, really? The stupid thing went and <laughs> went and took it. Ooh, katana. But we don't want the katana though. Um, saber. Don't you spell it R E? Sure you do. Swashbuckler. I'm a pirate. Let's have a look. Yes, very pirate-like. I think that's very pirate-like. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we made... What else can we make from the Spartan thing? I don't know. I don't think there's any weapons. What are those? Alternate mechanist shield. Okay, that takes Fe. Oh, it's a powered shield using mechanism, but it's from Spartan. You know what? I didn't even think about the shields. Shield bash block and left button. What's what's block? Oh no, um, block is, oh, I don't know. I don't use shields very much. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and now that we've got the anvil, I can, you know, enchant stuff. And I've got 20 levels. And we've got um, lapis. I should see if I could enchant it. Uh, let's let me see. Where is my it's in this room? I think no. I think it's up here. Oh, you still haven't. Oh, you need a, a proper a proper cauldron and not an apothecary one. Um, faster attack, smite, and faster attack one. Faster attack five. Okay. We need some more XP. Well, I think that's what I need to get. Faster attack five. All right. Well, then let's um, 
I'm going to finish that for today. I mean, I've done quite a bit because I need to go and make some, you know, go get some more, um, what you call it, some more levels. Okay, so, oh, we have, we have this other thing to pick up as well. Okay. And let's put that in our backpack straight away before this stupid thing goes and eats it. Right, so, um, so yeah, so we made some alcohol. Made the, 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 the crate stuff. And we made a little tiny, um, what do you call that thing? Mob farm. A tiny, tiny incy wincy mob farm. That's about the only way we can describe it. But um, so yeah, so that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.